welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well. So today I want to talk about when God says no, a little bit about why he says no and tips on encouraging you when he does say no. I think it's really important to remember that not every emotion we feel or not every idea or thought or plan is from God. So it's really about knowing what's from Him and then what's from the world or what's from our flesh and what's uh, led by the Spirit. Really quickly, I apologize if it's loud outside. They're doing construction, so what can I do? So this topic has been on my heart um, lately because I feel like there's a big misconception when it comes to God and praying and I think that misconception is that God is supposed to say yes to us he's supposed to always answer our prayers he's supposed to um, always give us what we want when we want it and when, when that doesn't happen I think a lot of us get mad or get angry with God or feel um, unimportant or feel like he's neglecting us and there's so many different emotions that we might feel and I hope that I can give you a different perspective on um, when he says no and to look at it through a different lens. So everything that I'm going to talk about today can be applied to any situation. I'm going to make it very broad so if God says no about a career or an idea or a goal that you might have or a relationship, a friendship, um, anything this can be applied to any of those situations I just want to give you some context behind it and then some tips to help encourage you so I just pray that it would do so and if it does please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you have any other tips please leave them in the comment section below so let's go ahead and get started so I think a lot of the time we forget that no's from God are really coming from a place of love and a place of protection and it's hard for us to understand because in our minds and our hearts um, we really want this thing whatever it is we really want this job we really want this relationship to work and when God says no we don't understand sometimes we always jump on the defense and say well, why? Why are you punishing me? Why can't I have this? This is what I want. This is what I need. And a lot of the time, I mean, we don't know what we need. Um, we don't know what's good for us and we don't see the bigger picture. So I think it's important to understand that when God says no, we have to remind ourselves of the bigger picture and that we don't know his plans for us. When he says no, I think it's important to kind of take it as a blessing and say, okay God, I might not understand now, but I know that um, you have something greater for me. And I always remind myself when I hear no from God, when God uh, rejects me, <laughs> when he says no to whatever it is that I'm okay with it. I can be okay with it because I know that he would never take away something from me and not give me something greater. And so I just encourage you to remember that. Whenever you hear a no, just say, okay, God, um, I know you have something greater for me and I'm, I'm going to trust you and I'm going to be obedient in knowing that. So in my opinion, it also makes sense that God doesn't say yes to us all the time. And what I mean by that is, if you think about it, did your parents say yes to you all the time? Because if we heard yes all the time, of course we would be obedient to God. Of course we would stay in our faith. The thing about faith and obedience is, is that it's measured and it's tested when God is silent when he says no because he knows that of course you're going to stay in faith and be obedient and just love him and be in awe when he says yes and of course his yes is our blessings but he wants to know how strong your faith is and he wants you to learn and to grow and all that is done within those no's and within that rejection so it makes sense why he wouldn't always say yes to us. So I think about it in the concept of a road or a path. We're on this path and there are multiple other paths. Um, but we're meant to be on this path. And sometimes there are roadblocks 
right? When we want to turn, we want to veer, and we think it's right for us, or we want to do this, or it's a great opportunity, it's an opportunity to make money, it's something I've always wanted. Whatever it is, when there's a roadblock there, that's God saying, no, I want you to stay on this path. This is the path for you. This is your purpose. And I thank God for that because you never know what's on those other paths. Um, it could look beautiful from the outside and then once you're on it, it can be treacherous, you know. When God says, no, I just take it as a blessing and I say, thank God for your no's because I know that it's coming from love and protection and never from ill intent. And sometimes it's really hard to know when he's saying yes or when he's saying no or when you're saying yes or when you're saying no. Sometimes you can't differentiate um, what is your heart saying and what is he actually saying. It can be very hard, but I think that when you stay in his word and when you make sure it aligns with his word and with his love and with his protection and with his wisdom, that's how you'll know. Because the Bible says the more you draw closer to him and the more you build a relationship with him, the more you'll be able to hear from him and know when things are from him and when they're not from him. So sometimes I ask myself, when I'm not sure. Is this really from God? And then I have to really think about it and I have to pray about it because it's really hard. Sometimes things are disguised so well and you never really know unless you're seeking his wisdom and you're seeking his answers. I've had relationships that I thought were from God because I never asked God if they were from him. I really just took it upon myself to say, oh yeah, this is, this is from God, you're meant for me, whatever, whatever, and then things would fall apart because really, it really wasn't from him. It really was a no that I somehow turned and twisted into a yes because that was from my own flesh and not from the spirit so you know you can take that and apply it to any example really within your life okay so here are some tips on how to stay encouraged when god says no so jeremiah 29 11 um for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope in a future the first tip is to trust him trust his plan for you trust his nose trust his love and his protection and know that his plan is so much greater so yes tip number one is trust he wants you to trust him within those awkward moments within those silent places within um, the nose within the rejection within the loneliness within the, the brokenness you know just always trust him and know that he will never leave you without Tip number two is not to necessarily give up. I think a lot of the time um, we take the no and we run with it and we give up our you know, hopes and our dreams. And sometimes it's just not the right time. You know, It's really about God's timing. And a friend of mine um, who writes poetry, he was asking me, you know, how am I okay? How do I become okay with the rejection from my poetry book and I told him if this is a passion of yours that God has put in your heart and you know that I think God's just telling you to work on yourself to work on your craft and that is just not the right timing not to just give it up completely um, but just to trust his timing you know because timing really is everything so tip number two is just don't give up it might just not be your time so tip number three really is just don't let it hinder your faith. Um, stay in his word. Stay encouraged. Keep praying about it. Don't let this one no ruin all the yeses that he's given you. Ruin all the blessings, all the amazing things that he's done for you in your life. Um, I think it's very easy to fall astray, especially when 
we get no's and rejections and we think that God isn't there. Know that he is there and that the stronger your faith is, the stronger you will understand that and the stronger you will be okay with rejection and with no's and with silence because ultimately he is there and he really is just protecting you and, and getting you ready for um, the bigger blessing that's, that's to come. Tip number four is just to be patient. God never said, um, if you pray, I'm going to answer your prayers within 48 hours, within two weeks. You really have to be patient. You never know when your blessing is coming. You never know when your prayer is going to be answered. It could be a year, five years, 10 years, 20 years. Um, you never know, but you have to be okay with that. Um, I have a mentor at church and he's in his 40s and never been married, really wants a family, um, but he trusts God's plan and he trusts that, um, you know, if it's his will, then he will have it, but he is okay. He doesn't feel like he's without because he knows that um, he can depend on God. So I really just want to say be patient, but keep moving. Don't let the nose make you stagnant. Don't let the nose make you content. Don't let the nose make you feel unworthy because you are worthy and you just never know what God is keeping you from and what is and what God is going to bless you with. Tip number 5 is to change your perspective. I've kind of already touched on this, but tip number five is just to change your perspective. Take it as a blessing. Take it as, um, you know, God steering you on the right path. Take it as protection. Take it as love. Take it as kindness. Know that it might be a no now, but it might not be a no forever. Um, and take the time to just work on yourself. Maybe you're not ready. Maybe you're not even ready to receive that blessing that you're asking for. So crazy to even think about, but it's true. A lot of the times I was asking for things that I wasn't even ready to receive. So just change your perspective to a positive one, of course. I'm gonna leave you guys with those five tips. Of course, if you have anything else to help encourage people, please leave it in the comment section below. And I just wanna encourage you around the fact that unanswered prayers are really answered prayers. God is protecting you and he loves you. And I just hope that you remember that. And I hope that this video encouraged you um, to stay happy, to stay in faith, to stay joyful and to stay striving because you really can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Um, and this was supposed to be an ending, but I just want to keep talking. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching again. I love you and I will see you next Sunday at my next upload. Take care and God bless.